comes a point in our life, doesn't there, when we begin to realise that we are prisoners of our own mind. And so when we want to set ourselves free from the limitations of the mind and find some deeper peace inside of ourselves, then we have to take on a freedom journey in a sense or an awakening process and not necessarily that that's something that we choose to do either that can happen randomly seemingly in people but of course it isn't random because it's destiny but there's a natural way of things in this awakening or freedom journey uh, that I'd like to talk about there's a process to it and so we'll talk about that here today So the freedom journey, hey? There are certain techniques or technologies, ancient technologies that we can use in a way to set ourselves free from the limitations of the physical mind, the physical emotions, and in some senses, the physical body in a way. And some of these are available down below. There's a free breathing practice. There's a free introduction to Hatha Yoga. And there's also a free community for people that are going through an experience like this and they want some camaraderie or community that's available to you down below but also the one other thing i want to bring your attention to is a six month immersion training at the moment we're currently looking always filled up so there's only a few more spaces left but this is for somebody who wants to take their next step on the journey the spiritual journey is not a woo woo process it's systematic you do this then you do this then you do this it's a blueprint and it works and is working for the clients um, that I'm working with currently. So if you're interested in that and you're ready to transform, and I mean truly if you're ready, don't come if you're not, then because it will take some work and some effort, then you're more than welcome to apply for that down below. The application is free but the course is not free. So back to the video. The freedom journey or the awakening process, it has a certain step-by-step way to it or at least in some sense we can gain a, a general understanding of the way it works with in fact just one image now this may not be a very nice image because I haven't drawn it yet but I'm putting it on the screen now and so this is the nature of the awakening journey it's like a spiral that's ever continuing to go upwards and so we can see these low points of the spiral representative of low points in our awakening process followed by a high point where we've perhaps come to the end of a cycle and then we're feeling ecstatic and we go oh my god yes this is the best thing in the world of course the journey's uh, real of course it's the thing I should be doing in my life and then only for the next moment literally almost as soon as the next day for us to drop all the way back down to the bottom again but please notice that these bottom moments there's two things to note one they're always a little bit higher than the last one And two, these are amazing integrative opportunities. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean these are moments where we get to integrate the understanding that we learned at the last high moment into our low moments. What life is really asking us is, have we learned the lesson that we were being taught in the last round? And of course, most of the time the answer is no. But we do have new perspective now. And so whilst the lesson may not be fully and completely learned, we now have new perspective from which to grow. And this is how that journey works. So it's an upward facing spiral. Each high is higher than the last, each low is lower than the last. And in time, this can almost be a confusing idea though, because we get used to it in a sense. If I could perhaps um, say there's one exception in relationship to the image that I showed you, and that's the dark night of the soul. When we're in this path, it's very inevitable, I would say, that you're going to go through a dark night of the soul, and it's okay that you do. It's a rite of passage, it's a spiritual rite of passage, and it's mentioned in every spiritual literature, 
in a sense. Every tradition has a Dark Knight of the Soul or some sort of semblance of that. And that is where it throws out this you know, picture or image out of whack and it doesn't, it's not representative. In fact, I've drawn a second image that you can see now, which is more representative of what you might experience during a Dark Knight of the Soul moment. So the spirals, they uh, start off on your journey, you know, continually going up. Then if a Dark Knight of the Soul begins to happen, you'll notice a bigger variation. Yes, there are higher highs to be experienced, but honestly, there are also lower lows. Now this, I've just had a great call with a client who's very in touch now uh, with himself. He's just been through the six month immersion or is coming to the end of his six month immersion training. And he said to me, is it true that in the dark night of the soul, the sadness or the fear or the pain comes because I'm losing me? And in a sense, yes, that is true. Think about when you're a child, you have a, a dummy or a blankie or something, and when that gets taken away from you, oh wow, the pain that we feel. We probably all have a memory of that, of how painful that was, our first experience of loss in some way, shape or form. And this is all the dark night of the soul is really. It's a journey of loss, but we're losing that which was never really ours in a sense. And what do I really mean by that? Well, I mean these identity structures that we've made, this me, this mental me inside of ourself is beginning to drop and drop in big ways. And of course, that causes a lot of pain. Why? Because it's been so close to us for years, the mind, hasn't it? We've been touching it, tasting it, feeling into it. It's been our way to interact with the world. We're, we're so close to it that of course, when that gets taken away in a sense, or we could see it in the positive light, when we offer that up because we want to know our true self, when we offer that up to existence, then there's bound to be pain. And so this is the only exception to that rule. But if you can see this rule in a general sense, it's always moving upwards. Life is always getting better. We are always expanding into new ways, into new possibilities. But that might mean a few years of a little bit of pain. Can we endeavor to take that journey gracefully uh, uh, maybe not, you know, because I didn't. <laughs> I was not graceful uh, as I went through my dark night of the soul experience. And I'm not sure that life cares. You don't get extra brownie points for going through it gracefully. And you don't get less brownie points for going through it negatively. It's all about how you respond though, isn't it? Because if I respond in a positive way, then I'm likely to get the positive benefit from the experience. If I respond from the negative way, I'm also not sure it matters because I think you'll still get the lesson that you need to learn. It just might take a little bit longer and might be a little bit more painful because all suffering is mental. Pain can be there and it can be experienced on a big way. In fact, the client I just had in, he also mentioned to me, oh, gosh, there's so much pain here. It can't just be my pain that I'm dealing with. I must be dealing with our collective pain. And I said, yes, in a way that's right. Because humanity, it's humanity's pain we're feeling into it. And, and, and why is that? Well, there's, you know, all of humanity has an ego. There's only one ego and we've all got one. And so we're all attached, in a sense, to that identification in the mind, to, to phenomenal things. And as those drop away, of course, pain is created, but it leaves room for something more real. And that's the true benefit of the dark night of the soul. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you more perspective around the journey, what's happening, why it's happening, and what you can expect from it and i'm sure this correlates with your experience too so have yourself a great day lots of love namaste